Is this the face of somebody who is struggling? No, this is the face of a girl who is happy with everything she has ever decided to do in her life, including running away from basic survival. Everything's fine. <laughs> everyone, it's me Lappy and welcome back to my channel for the first episode of Let's Play The Sims for the Chandler family. So, let me explain. This was originally going to be a runaway teen challenge, but I didn't feel like doing that. I didn't want to be restricted by all those rules and I wanted to just have a good time, you know? And I did, and I got kind of attached to Miss Oasis here while I was making her in Creative Sims, so I decided that I would just turn this into a generally an LP to see where her life goes and stuff. So, as you can see, she's got nothing. She has no money to her name. She has, um, she l sleeps in a box. She's got nothing. Uh, she lives in the middle of nowhere out in Windenburg. And she's just generally struggling a little bit. I say a little bit, she's struggling a lot. Um, I didn't even know that this little village area was back here, that's nice. So, she's gonna basically just try and just do something that'll help her survive. She's uh, not allowed to use her phone, but that's fine. I'm just gonna mute it, see if that does much of anything. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out how to take care of her needs with her having no money and nothing. Um, her backstory is basically that um, she lived in foster care for a while and uh, she was kind of tired of it. She wanted to run off and live on her own, so that's what she's done. She's just left and gone to Windenburg. And let me see if I can actually find, like, anything we can dig up, any, like, grills or anything. Uh, looks like we can go fishing, maybe. And we can go ahead and look for frogs in here. If the game will stop freezing on me, that would be nice. I don't understand why this always happens with my Friday series. They always freeze and crash and the saves get messed up. It happened with pets, it's happened with um, parenthood, and it's a pain. It really is, and I'm sick of it. So she just lives out in the countryside of Windenburg. This is where her, around where her last foster family was. Um, so she lives around then. I think she's gonna try and not interact with any adults, but if she does, I'm not gonna freak out about it. Can we get rid of this homework? Yes, we can. Because she's not a high school student anymore. She dropped out of school. Oh, and over here there's stuff to be gotten. So, if we make enough money, we could probably eat tonight. And if we get to, like, 10,000... Simoleons, maybe we can go, we can start building up her shelter, like, legacy challenge style, but, um, she's a teen and there are less restrictive rules. Oh man, why is her conflict resolution? Oh, it's because she's hot-headed. Hey, it's another teenager, it's Darling Walsh. It's okay, I'm not gonna freak out that we just passed her then. Okay, let's see what we got in here. A striped eggplant frog, which also goes for ten bucks. Uh, I know in Stardew Valley I usually go fishing for money super early in the game. So we could probably go ahead and do that. If I could find the fishing site, I know it was somewhere. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. We don't have to do that, like, right now. We're just trying our hardest. There it is. Go ahead and go fishing. We could probably meet some other teens around here. 
Like, Morgan's a teenager, right? Yeah, so we can introduce ourselves to Morgan. Just give her a quick, friendly introduction. I should give the lot the teen hangout, hangout trait so that we have less adults running around because she's not allowed to interact with them. Uh, so this is basically like a runaway teen thing, but with vastly less, like, rules that will restrict us. What? Why is she yelling at us? I don't understand. Oh, she's good. It's weird. Why is she a renegade then? We're just gonna chat with her for a hot second. Maybe we could make a friend. Show off our outfit. Discuss some interests. Do an impression. Just gonna try and make a friend so that she's not lonely all the time. Uh, she's not gonna be able to get a job until she's a young adult, which isn't for a while. I don't think- oh, it's only seven days away, that's not too bad. So yeah, when she's a young adult, we can go ahead and do more with her, but this isn't a runaway teen challenge because I wanted to be able to just play with her and uh, see how her life goes, see what happens, and I need to go take care of my brothers, of course. They okay, I'm back. And we're just gonna talk to Morgan a little bit while a little while longer. Just so that we don't need to worry about her social need at all for a while. And then we'll probably take care of a need or two real quick, but I'd love for her to go fishing. Because um she probably won't need to have her needs taken care of for a little while, but she does need money so that we can cook and stuff. And as you can see, we did drop out of high school, so um, I'll link that mod down in the description because I use it a lot. Like, that's probably bad of me to say, but for plot reasons, I use it. Okay. So I guess we're done talking to Morgan for now, so we're gonna go ahead and fish. And try and get some money from that. Because we're broke. We at least have enough to cook dinner tonight, but I'd like for us to save money so that we can... Oh, this is a nice little spot. I don't spend a lot of time in the countryside of Windenburg. I usually live out in like the more city area. Oh, it's the Goths. I wonder what they're doing out here. Okay. We're just gonna speed it up a tiny bit. Oh, there's a duck. There are ducks! Oh my gosh, I didn't know that there would be ducks! I love them. I want one. I want like ten ducks. But this is helping out her fun need, which is good. And we got a fish! That's worth six bucks. Sweet! Getting more money. Because we need it. She's so cute, I love her. Like, I love her so much. And like, most of her traits were just 
randomized. I like barely had to do anything to make her cute. I just changed up her eyes and skin tone and stuff. And now look at her. She's adorable. And I love her. But we're just gonna speed it up a bit. I'd kind of like to get her a tent because it's probably a lot comfier than the box that she's sleeping in right now. Like, if we could get her camping supplies before anything else, that would be solid because I know for legacies, I can at least afford that stuff with the limited amount of money that I have starting out. And she leveled up her fishing skill. Because I know that just... Um, because as you saw with the Capulet Legacy, we started out with a bunch of camping supplies. And that was really helpful. And it even... Um, and it wasn't that expensive, so I think we're gonna try and do that. And this isn't a legacy challenge because we're not in a massive lot. There's not a lot of... Um, there's not a lot of... Uh, we don't really have to worry about errors and stuff. Oh, there are trees back here that we could pick and start up a garden. Oh, that's so nice. There are lemons and cherries, too. Oh, I always have so much trouble with finding those, and they were out here all along in the countryside of Windenburg. This is why I should go out here more often. But we're gonna just grill something up. Something cheap. Hot dogs. We'll at least have a few new pieces. We'll at least have some food, even though it'll probably go bad pretty quick. And we can take advantage of, like, the showers and stuff at the gym. We're just kind of living rough right now. And that's fine. Because I know it won't last too long. And I know we'll do good. Because I believe in us, and I believe in Oasis, and I believe that everything will go well. Even though I haven't bothered to plot out that much yet. Even though I like to usually have a plot, because I don't know where I'm going with this. To be completely honest, I'm just kind of trying to have a good time, and who is you? You're a young adult, so I don't care. I might put some um, families I've made in this lot. Like, I might put the families from my old parenthood LP in here. That, um, because I miss them, and... They did, their LP kind of flopped because the save went bad. But I could do that. That's not exactly out of reach. And I might put some of my other old sims around here too. My old current household sims. And stuff like that. Okay, we have nine hours to eat all these. Can we put this in our inventory? Yes, we can. Okay. I do believe that this will go well. Okay, so we've got some hot dogs in our inventory. Even though they'll probably go bad pretty quick. Is there anything we can dig up around here? Just gather stuff? No? I guess we'll go fishing again then. Because we need to do that. We always, always, always need to do that. Because we need money. Ooh, the moon is coming up. It's so pretty. I love Windenburg so much. I know you've listened to me rave about Windenburg a lot in the Capulet Legacy, but can you blame me? Just look at it. Look at how glorious this is. Look at the detail on the moon slowly rising. Look at the windmills. Look at the beautiful sky. 
It's perfect. I love this world so much. This is why all my sims end up living here. Because it's so beautiful. Like if if you don't even if you don't care about lots or anything, just buy get together for Windenburg. Or not lots. Even if you don't care about clubs or anything like that, just get Windenburg. Just or not Windenburg, just get this world just for Windenburg. Because it's it's glorious. And now it's all dark and I can hardly see, but it's good. We're good. What do we get? Just trying to fish up some good things. I wish you could like catch bugs like you could in um Sims 3. Like I only miss that when we're desperate for money like this and we're on a struggle bus. Because Miss Oasis <gasps> we have a cow we can we can make a cow plant. Oh, do I really want a cow plant though? Yes I do, because the berry's not worth that much money. I want a cow plant. We're gonna plant a cow plant. Because why not? I know it's dangerous and all, but I want a cow plant. I think they're so cool. I just really, really care about cow plants a lot. And I haven't had them since, like, my first legacy challenge I ever did. Ooh, a fishy. Nine dollars. Wow. And we can plant this apple, too. Start getting a little bit of garden going with one deadly plant and one plant that is apples. Okay. We're kind of working on a collection too, and I want to get her working on a painting skill, even though I know that I use that a lot because I think it would be real helpful to everybody involved. Because it's the quickest and easiest way to make money in this game, and right now we just need the money for camping supplies and stuff. So I think I'm gonna have her fish for just like a little while more, maybe until 10 p.m. Sims time, and then we'll go ahead and head home, or not home, but to the lot where our box is, and we'll go ahead and plant our apple and our cow plant, and everything is gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. We're not struggling too much just yet. Everything's cool. Everything is awesome. <laughs> too crafty for Oasis. Nothing is too crafty for my little girl. She is perfect. She is good and hot-headed and amuser. And I love her. You know, we could probably get an easel, but I know that around- Ooh, young adults catching us. But I knew that around here- there are just easel, easels laying around. Like, I think it's around the Munch, Munch's house. Because I had people living on that lot. And we could always, 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 always just paint and paint nonstop. And it was glorious. It was so glorious. I loved every moment of it. Okay. So, it takes us a while to run back here, but it's good. We're gonna plant our stuff, maybe over here by the mailbox. Just put the cow plant there, and the apple there, that should work. And we can plant. Just make sure, yeah, they're on the lot, okay, we're good. We're good. And we've got some money right now, which is good. 
and we can go ahead and eat a hot dog real quick just so we don't go hungry while we're asleep and then I'll go ahead and let her get to bed and we'll go ahead and water our plants really really quick and then we can grab a serving of hot dogs this is going pretty well so far and then when she's done with that she can go ahead and sleep and we are solid we are doing great everything is fine look at her is this the face of somebody who is struggling no this is the face of a girl who is happy with everything she has ever decided to do in her life including running away from basic survival everything's fine <laughs> see everything's okay she's got her hot dogs she's got a lot in the middle of beautiful no what the heck is that well in the middle of beautiful nowhere she's got let me see where's <laughs> okay there she is Where's her plants? There they are. She's got a nice cow plant, she's got a nice apple. Everything's going great. Everything's fine. Nothing is terrible. She's not struggling. She's just a little bit desperate for money right now. And there we go. I think we're gonna wrap up this part here, so thank you. I'm just gonna need to have her constantly go back to napping. It's fine. But thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I post new videos every single day, so if you'll catch in tomorrow, then I will catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.